Okay, it's the glowing paint. Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Hmm. Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! N now, now. We should get everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Blair! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Uh. You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? No, maybe he said it from under the floor. That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by looking at sweat. Oh, what? So, if you want, you should try licking me. Oh, what the fuck is he talking about? No way! You look greasy! But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Taro was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means... He's not the killer. No, that's not it. Wh why Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Hmm. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Alright, now what? <clears throat> okay. I have no idea yet. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely yeah. heard Teru Teru's voice. Right. It's handsome, unlike his face. Ah. Maybe it was a recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Okay. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's not no Duralumin, it's not gas. It's not the knife. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. I'm gonna choose gaps and floorboard. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. I think it worked.
Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Good. Huh? W why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> Flipping out. What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. What on earth is this? Listen to him. Now he turned into a Cajun. Where are you from again? He's from the fucking New Orleans. Ooh, I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Ayuyama. <laughs> hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. If Terry Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! What the hell? He, he seriously turned into a Cajun. He sounds like Gambit from X-Men. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. <laughs> People's lives are at stake. Let me tell you, mon cher. Mon chéri. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories. His accent is getting even worse. He's definitely lying. <laughs> the worse his accent gets, the, the worse he's lying, However, yes. I am not <clears throat> sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No. Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Ask him to, to make you some gumbo. If it's good, you know he's really a Cajun. There you go. His memories. Oh, yeah, don't be saying things like that. Don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? <laughs> now we found some nice crawfish. Yes. Probably can. <laughs> oh, 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 you again. Whether or not Tiru Tiru was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I need to throw that question at him. What? Ah! The embarrassing pose! Yes! Would he know about this? Because he's a pervert, he definitely would have remembered this. I can prove it with this! If you're claiming yep. that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Right. right, and he definitely would have fucking known. Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! Finally, the embarrassing pose! No, this is a very important question. What color would a crawfish on her panties, boy? You tell me now! Oh, Terry, Terry, <laughs> if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? What um, flavor of dipping sauce landed on her G spot? You tell me now, boy. It's a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Oh my God, it's great. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. It was Mardi Gras mustard, wasn't it, boy? You tell me. Um, Come on, boy! Speak up, boy! You from the cage on the bayou? You tell me! Uh, Anna? That's weird. Just slipped from my mind. Wow, he's done. There's no way it would slip from your mind. Yep. Especially not a pervert like you. What, did a giant uh, French bread just like slip into her pussy or something? Uh, um, <laughs> even so... Nagito, say something! I guess you might have to give up now. It's over. Give up? What do you mean, give up? It's all over for you. Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? My god, for some reason this is giving me a total 
a total flashback to the American Pie movie. You know the girl, the redhead girl, she's like, she was at band camp and a flute, she shoved her flute into her pussy. It's like, this one time, on a school trip, I was on a, I was on a tropical island, we were having a party, and I fell, and crawfish fell right into my pussy. Well, hold on a sec, don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Oh my god.